Well, I bought a 5D Mark II. I've wanted one for a long time, finally pulled the trigger, and one of the reasons is because of Magic Lantern. It looks like with Magic Lantern, you can take these old cameras and turn them into cinematic beasts with raw video files. 14-bit color, it's glorious, it's like everything you've ever dreamed. And so I thought, well, shoot, if you can do crazy things with the EOS M, surely you can do some amazing things with the Canon 5D Mark II full frame and all that good stuff. And I love my 5D Mark One, so I thought, ah, shoot, 400 bucks now, 450, I think, I'll buy one. I'm not completely convinced that the RAW is worth messing with, at least on this camera, but I probably don't really know what I'm doing and I need to learn more. But I wanted to just show you some examples and show you what I've messed with so far. This is a regular file. Uh, it's in the standard prof prof profile, uh, so it's a little bit sharpened. The colors are a little more saturated than maybe if I left it in neutral. Uh, on my porch this morning, you got some nice rainfall here, but this is totally blown out. The, the fern didn't have enough light, and it's all black. If I recorded it with RAW, you can see it's completely gray, and it's very, very, very flat but you actually have some stuff going on inside that fern. Um, and I thought, well, I would love to get what's going on inside that fern <laughs> and also the background from the first one. So back to the original, I just turned up the slider for shadows and we get quite a bit more detail in the fern. It's still too dark, but it looks quite a bit better. And here's my attempt at color grading this flat log profile from the raw file. And it's a lot warmer. The colors are very different. Um, it, there's a lot more going on in the potted plant now uh, in the fern. But to me, it's like, I don't know. I don't know if I really like it as any better. And you got to remember, these raw files are like 10 times larger in file size. So a 10 second clip is like three, 400 megabytes. It's, it's pretty crazy. So another little area on my porch here, uh, this background, you can see some clouds moving, but of course under the porch, it's all black. So I tried another flat log profile. I think I tried, this might've been the Sony log profile. There's, when you use MLV to, uh, and that's another thing with this, you have to take your raw files and you have to um, process them with a MLV app before you can even put them in the Premiere or your editing suite. And here it is, color graded. I I honestly cannot remember what I did with this. Uh, okay, this is, this is just a LUT. Okay, here is the original file again, uh, and I've just played around with the sliders to try to make it where I like it. So you can see a big difference between the two. One more shot, and I wanted to take a minute and show you again. Here's the flat color profile, uh, or the flat, um, another log profile. Here I did a little bit of color grading. I think this is using a speed look, yep, for Fuji Eterna, which, you know, I think it looks kind of gray and dingy and kind of has a cinematic look. Um, and then here's a 400% close-up and 400% close-up of the file, the raw file. It's definitely a little bit cleaner and everything, but uh, honestly, these raw files on the 5D Mark II, unless I figure out something I'm missing, I don't really see how they're worth it.